Good morning, homebodies. My name is Renee. I'm going to do a seven exercise program today. I'm going to try to repeat the round, uh, the program three times. Um, so we have a few of my favorite things that I know. You know, homebody, you want to work at home. I understand that, but it's always a good idea to gather a few pieces of equipment because now and then it can be quite difficult to get certain uh, muscle groups um, with just your body weight. So, and there are just some things that are just so fabulous, like kettlebells are fabulous, bosu balls are fabulous, of course dumbbells, and you can even get yourself a sandbag since it's really fun to hold on your shoulders or in the back of your shoulders and soft, it's soft, it's not like, um, so you can add a ton of weight, but it's soft, okay? and you don't have to feel all that um, hard weight on your shoulders. Okay, so today is 20 swings, um, 10 one-legged uh, uh, Romanian deadlifts uh, on each leg, some more swings, uh, a BOSU burpee, some rows using the dumbbells and um, the BOSU just to make it more challenging, and five flipping bugs. It's basically push-up, tricep, dip, push-up, tricep, dip, over and over. So, we'll go ahead and get started right away with the 20 swings. Now, something I want to show you here is you start with the kettlebell sort of in front of you a bit, feet just outside of hip width, toes forward, uh, back super straight, shoulders drawn down your back. You're going to inhale as you pull it through, exhale, snap. You don't want to squat, you're just swinging, hinging the hips back and snapping them forward. Okay. One legged, dead left. So, the standing leg is going to be slightly bent, back is going to be super straight. You're going to draw the shoulders down and lift, barely touching the toe. Inhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, there's 30 pounds in here, in this sandbag. And the kettlebell was 45 pounds. See how the shoulder doesn't go like this, it stays. Seven. Eight, Woo. nine, and ten. And back to the twenty swings. the other leg.
Back straight. And up. One. Knees slightly bent. Two. Three. Squeeze the bum. Woo. Four. You can even drop the weight here a little. So that's more uh, challenging to get back up. Five. And so I can get a little lower there, see? Six, because the handle sort of doesn't let me get that low. Seven. Eight. Nine. And uh, ten. Okay. Oh, super. Um, gosh, there's so many ways to do these. I'm just going to go ahead and do it the jump on, jump up, jump back, push up way. And we're going to go for our 10. Okay? Jump on, jump up, jump back, push up, jump on, jump up, jump back, push up. I'm a little close to the wall now. That's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And uh, 10. 10 rows using the Boso. All right. So I'm actually going to put this like this. I'm going to get these. I'm gonna come in front. I'm gonna put my feet on here. Okay, let's see how I do. Woo! Oh. One. Oh. Two. Oh. Three. Oh. Four. Six, uh, seven, uh, woo, eight. Very challenging with your feet on here. Uh, nine, uh, ten. Super challenging. You gotta squeeze your core so hard. Okay, flipping bugs. Move this. Five of them. Biceps, chest, shoulders, triceps. So we're gonna start here. So push up, flip, dip. Push up, that was one. Flip, dip, that's two. Push up, flip, dip, that's three. Push up, flip, dip. Four, push up, flip, dip, yeah, and that's five. Right back to the beginning, 20 swings. Alrighty, 45 is hard, I have been slowly and gradually trying to increase my um, 
kettlebell weight as I got better at swinging properly, looking at all kinds of people not doing it properly. And I'm still not perfect, but I'm working on it. like front. This one will go. Okay, ready? All right. So down. I'm letting my weight go a little, but I'm not curving my back. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, woo, that was hard. Last one here. And ten. Okay, 20 swings. This is by far the hardest one. Super hard to keep yourself from squatting and using something other than the hip thrust for um, momentum. Not supposed to have to be pulling your arms up or squatting really at all. It's a hip hinge. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's the Bosu Burpee. I thought it was the Wicked Hard Rose on the Bosu. Okay. 
burpees are like easy peasy compared. All right. the the um super challenging row all Obviously, the closer your feet are, One, flip, dip, two, that's three, four, and yeah, five. Okay. Last round. Oh, and macaroni. Okay. It's the swing. My hands are super sweaty. But that's not good. Because the stupid kettlebell will fly away from me. Ready, 20 swings. to suffer. I'm not snapping necessarily the way I should. 
picking up slack in other muscle groups that I definitely shouldn't. So the next, this is my first time using a 45 pound kettlebell. I usually use 30 or 35. So I'm gonna exit the next set of swings. Um, I suppose I could do them with one of my 10 pound weights. Alrighty, what is it? It's the deadlift. Okay, this is 20 pounds. No, this is 30 pounds. That's 45. Those are 10 each. Okay, there we go. Okay, down. See, I'm letting the weight go down so I get closer to the floor, but not my body. Two. Three. Say, letting the weight go down, but not my shoulder or my back. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Woo! Eight. Nine and ten. Okay, so what I'm going to do is the Bosu Burpee, then I'll do the other leg because I'm skipping. Oh, no, 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 I won't. I'll just do the swing with a ten pound weight. Okay, okay, 20 swings. Wow, this feels weird. sound asleep there. And up, up, back, down. Up, up, back, down. Three. Eight. Uh, uh. 
nine. bugs and we're done. Sometimes even, holy crap. Reach it up over your head. Uh, stretch out your arms, chest, shoulders. Goodness gracious. 30, 40 seconds. Tuck your bottom under. Reach up and over. Both sides, 30 or 40 seconds. Okay. You can uh, lace the fingers behind your back. Stretch the triceps. Everything should be held for about 30, 40 seconds, and if you have time to repeat stretches three or four times, do it. Stretch your quadriceps, stretch. See how tired I am? Stretch your hamstrings, put them up on something. Do your seated pike fold, standing pike fold. And um, I'll see you next time. And you know you can do the rows without your BOSU. You can do your deadlifts with two feet or one, I mean two legs, one leg, lighter weight. Just keep the shoulders down in that position. Just let it move like this, the arm, as you come up and as you go down. But don't move it like this. Okay, just keep the shoulders drawn back and your back straight as a board. Um, I'm gonna, next video is gonna be some balancing exercises. Anyway, have a great weekend. Bye.